Hi and welcome back! In this short tutorial we will learn how to work with Pandas data frame. We will learn how to use head and tail to check the first x and last x rows of a data frame. We will also learn how to select columns, subset and slice data frames and other useful stuff such as adding a column, an empty column or a column based on two other columns. If you need to know more about how to create data frames, load your data from Excel or CSV files, look at the previous videos or my blog post covering these subjects. You will find links to everything you need to follow this video in the description below. Okay, let's start with pandas head. So there's only one parameter and uh, by default it's five. We can see here from the documentation of pandas data frame method head. There are some examples here also, but we're going to jump right in using head. So we have our data frame loaded here and uh, let's print the 10 first rows. Yes, we see here, it's the 10 first rows. We can uh, print out one row if we'd like, like that. Okay, let's continue with the tail. We're, go we're going to skip that uh, documentation because it's basically the same. It's just the name is different. And as it implies, it takes the x last rows. It's very simple to R's function, head and tail. df tail and we do 10 as with head and we can do df tail 1 to get the last row. Yeah, that's right. This uh, data frame don't have 10 rows. It's on, it only have nine. Anyway, that was head and tail pandas. Okay, we continue with uh, selecting columns. So I have a new data set here, the bong. You can load it in by using this link. You will find it in the description. So I printed the first five rows here, uh, and we can see there are some columns with variables. We have PIQ, VIQ, it doesn't really matter, but let's say we wanna select only the PIQ. So we're gonna select one column, and this can be done in two different ways. We're gonna start with the first one, and that is the FPIQ. Uh, like this, and uh, just to show you another, I'm gonna print the first five, four rows like this. Yeah, and we continue directly with the other method. So it's putting in a string like that. Uh, we can look at the tail. Cool. So the first method is quick. Uh -huh. And the second method enables you to select two columns. Say if you want to have both pick and Vic. And we do it like this. We input a list with the column names that we want to select. Um, Vic add so. There we go. Okay, now we're going to um, subset the data, and I use another data set here 
that's the Vong data set. We got some PIQ, VIQ after some head injuries or something. So uh, you can see here, it's uh, some columns here. ID, days, duration, sex, age, pick, pick, like that. So say, at, say that we want to select pick values that is larger than 80, we can use two methods. I think both are quite similar to methods that you can use in our statistical environment. Um, the first query is pretty similar to R's subset function. So df pick, and we're going to take the pick values that is larger than 80, and we put them in here like a string or in the string formats. Uh, we do a head. Yeah, it worked fine. So the other way to do it is also similar. You can do something similar using our statistical environment also. Uh, like this. And many times we may want to select based on two columns. Say that we want to have uh, persons in this data set with pick values larger than 80 and that are, that are male. This can be easily done with query. So df male 80, df query pick, Larger than 80 and sex equals male. Like that. Okay, so that was and. We might want to select based on two columns, but if uh, the age is larger than 40 or smaller than 14 then we can do like this query age larger than 40 or age smaller than 14 and now we can also select the columns pick and wick like this and print the first five rows like that. Okay, now to the final thing, adding a column to a pandas data frame. So we are going to start by adding an empty column and it's pretty simple. We have our data frame object, df, and we just name it new call equals, and just like that, we will have this, this new column. And it's nothing there. Okay, but more often we want to add a new column that is a calculation based on other columns maybe so we can calculate say a uh, general cognitive measures of piq biq let's call it iq so df iq equals and we can take we select the pick column and the vic column and add them so we add the values here and as it is two col two columns we have to divide it by two 
and we can run it. So df head. Now we get a mean value of Peck and Vic in the column IQ here. So this is uh, something that could be done uh, in a more uh, easier way, in an easier way. So df IQ df pick vic mean axis one. So the data frame object have have some summary statistics methods like mean, the sum, median, and so on. So, oh, of course, there's a syntax error here. So that would be the same as doing this. So I hope you learned something and uh, drop a comment below if you want me to cover some aspects of the pandas data frame. And make sure that you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. Bye.